Look, I'm not gonna switch over to Canon, but I've just been like, man, I'm just trying to justify in my head. If I sell this, I sell this, I sell this, maybe I can add a Canon body. Has Sony decided to go with the new card format? We're gonna take a look at it in this video. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's That One Camera Guy, back at again with a quick news video update for you, or rumor, whatever you wanna call it. And again, thanks for the support on these weird and obscure videos I've been doing lately. Um, but here, we're talking about the, another update uh, for the Sony A7S III. I initially thought they were going to consider maybe going to XQD and the rumors were saying they were just going to do dual UHS-2 card slots, which was fine as long as it could meet the requirements. But it seems as if uh, this other type, type A, is going to be available. So let's go ahead and jump into um, Sony Off Rumors really quick here. They have a post, but it, I saw it originally pop up um, here at Petapixel. I think that's kind of where they picked it up from. So... If you take a look here, there's three types of um, CF Express type cards, A, B, and C. Now, B is the most common one that everyone is used to seeing now, and a lot of it has become backordered for a very interesting reason. I wonder why so many CF Express cards on B&H Photo are being backordered, and whether or not I should pick one up and consider getting, <laughs> getting one now. <laughs> Have you been watching the EOSR video, the EOSR5 videos? Man, I am getting excited about that camera. I am just getting excited. Ah, I'm just like, maybe I need to pick up one of these CF Express cards now because, you know, if I don't pick one up, I'm not going to get one at a good price later on. I don't know. Let me know if you're, you're on the fence too, folks. I Look, I'm not going to switch over to Canon, but I've just been like, man, I'm just trying to justify in my head. If I sell this, I sell this, I sell this, maybe I can add a Canon body. <laughs> I mean, if there was a if there was an adapter that existed for the for the EOS R system to put Sony lenses, I'm I'm on it. <laughs> I'm on it. All right, sorry for the tangent, folks. I apologize. I'm just it's getting ridiculous out here. But anyway, see if Express. You already know the deal. The new Canon camera. So I think the One DX uses this, and and now you got this in the uh, the EOS R R five. Um, but there's three sizes, and each one carries a certain uh, speed limit, effectively. And so this chart over here shows you the sizing and everything else. Uh, type A, Type B, Type C. I don't think I don't think there's anything out there that uses Type C, but it transfers up to four gigabytes per second, the theoretical limit of it. The Type B is up to two gigabytes a second, and the Type A is up to one gigabytes a second. So, if the predictions are true in terms of what they're doing. Uh, in terms of the rumors here, and Sony is able to put two of these in the same slot that the SD will fit in, that will be very interesting. That will be very interesting. But the question is, how much is this going to cost? I think Sony Off Rumors brought this up. What is the cost of these cards going to be like? Now, it's not going to be as fast as CF Express uh, Type B, but... It'll be smaller, maybe it'll be easier to manufacture, but since it's going to be like a first-gen product, it's never come out before, it might be a little bit more expensive out the gate, but maybe Sony can do something. Maybe they can bring it out so it's just a little bit more expensive than your SD cards. Um, you know, what's an okay price range for you? So, uh, you know, maybe it's 10%, 20%, 30% more expensive than your typical SD card. I do like it. If they can pull off the dual option, that gives people the choice of either using SDs or this option here, or a faster option. I'm all for that. But the hype is continuing on. I hope you're getting excited again. I am going to be doing a live stream as long as my internet holds up, because if you don't know already, my internet is complete trash. But for some reason, this new internet, this hotspot that I got, my internet works just fine during the morning times when they know it's going to happen. But I am going to have a, a live stream for that. But yeah. There you go, folks. New CF Express A type cards possibly in the new Sony A7S III. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Who knows? Let me know down below if you think it's going to go in this direction and what are you willing to spend. But I hope they're ready. If they got 4K and they got some high frame rates, I'm ready to drop some money on some 512 gig cards. One terabyte if we got to go that route. Who knows? I'm excited. Hope you are too. Drop a like if you haven't done so. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.